Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Slow Cooker Sunday. So we're going to cook up a classic loaf of rosemary and olive oil bread in a not so classic way. But before I start, if this is your first time here, you love food, you love fun, you love slow cooker recipes, go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss anything new. So the first few things we're going to need are our yeast, some warm water, and a little bit of sugar. So I'm actually using a rapid rise yeast or an instant yeast. And in that case, you're going to want your water between 120 and 130 degrees. So if you're just using the regular active yeast, you're going to want your water between 105 and 100 and I think 10 or 15, I believe. This is what I use almost all the time. So my water is at 124, so it's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and stir in two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. So this is the equivalent of one yeast packet. I'm going to go ahead and stir this up. And then I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of sugar. So we're just going to go ahead and give this a good stir. And then we're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes until our yeast starts to work. So after about 10 minutes or so, your water and yeast should look like this. It should look nice and foamy. So we're going to go ahead and add this to three and a half cups of flour, along with three tablespoons of olive oil, a teaspoon of salt, and just about a teaspoon of some dried rosemary. And you can use fresh if you like. I had a little bit on hand, but not a lot, so I saved my fresh rosemary to put across the top of it. So we're just gonna go ahead and stir all of this together. And you know what I love about this? This is a great recipe for the summertime. If you're gonna cook it in the crock pot, you don't have to turn the oven on and heat up the whole house. You also don't have to take up precious oven space, so you can be cooking your meal in the oven uh, if you want, and then this can be cooking in the crock pot. So I think I'm going to go ahead and mix this together with my hands. The other great thing is you also don't need a stand mixer and you really don't need to knead this together. We just want to keep mixing this until it's all incorporated. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to kind of form this into a rough ball. And then I have got another bowl here that I've just greased with a little bit more olive oil. I'm going to place this in here. I'm going to cover it with my towel. And then we're just going to put this in a warm spot and we're going to let it rest for about an hour. All right, it's been just about an hour, so our bread should be done. And look at that. It has risen beautifully. All right, so I'm just going to punch my dough down. We're going to pull it out of here, right onto a little bit of flour. And then I'm just going to use my little bench scraper here to kind of work this into a ball. And that is it. So once we have it in a nice little ball here, I'm going to set it down for just a second. I'll slide my slow cooker over. I've got some parchment paper here Then we're just going to push down in here. All right, then we're just going to take our dough, place it right down in here. And then I've got a little bit of, you can just use some regular cooking spray if you have that. This is my Pampered Chef kitchen spritzer. So this takes the place of your Pam. It's supposed to be a lot healthier for you. <laughs> I've got a little bit of fresh rosemary I'm going to sprinkle on top. And I'm also going to put a little bit of, what did I do with it? Some salt. I've got some flake salt that I'm going to sprinkle on top as well. And then we want to take a couple of paper towels. So this is going to absorb the moisture and it's going to keep our bread from getting soggy. I'll place the lid. I think I already have it on high. And then we're just going to let this cook for about two hours. All right, so we are just under two hours. Our bread should be just about done. And as you can see, our paper towel has absorbed all of our moisture. So at this point, our bread, like I said, it's pretty well done. It's also pretty soft. So what I'm going to do is push this aside and take my bread on out of here. Oh, I wish you could smell that. <laughs> smells so good. So this is a nice soft bread. But what I like to do at this point, so obviously you can see by looking at it and imagining the taste that how delicious it is. But what I like to do at this point is kind of put it on a cookie sheet, brush it with a little bit of olive oil or a little bit of egg yolk, and I go ahead and put it under the broiler for just a few minutes and give it a nice golden, like really crunchy crust. But I'm not going to do that till later because I'm going to serve this for dinner. So I want it to be not only nice and warm. I'm afraid if I bite into it that I won't stop eating. <laughs> no one else is going to get any. I'll save it all for myself. If you're wondering, though, really what it tastes like, if you've ever had Romano's Macaroni Grill, their rosemary and olive oil bread, 
very similar. The taste is very similar to that. So I hope you'll give this a try. It's very, very easy. I also have another one that's similar to this that I cook in the oven and it's, I think, a 90 minute bread. So I'll put the link to that right here. Check that one out. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>